the shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend, I'm gonna sprawl, and I'm not gonna let him create an angle. Okay? So he shoots the shot, doesn't matter what it is. Okay? I'm crawling back, and I'm not letting him get to an angle. Yesterday, we reached clear across, and we went front body, went front body lock, and scored there, either out of stepping over it or else spinning behind. Now this time, okay, this time I've got my my overhook just long enough to stop his move. Okay, now I'm not in a not in a front body lock. Front head lock situation right here, kind of. Okay? Now I have stopped his move. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my underhook or what I call the high inside. Underhook here. Okay? Now keep your knees back. Keep sprawled back. Sometimes when you come into an underhook, you bring your knees in. Now he's just going to reach around him and double off and take me to my bunk. Okay, so I can't, don't want to do that. Okay, so sprawl out. There's my underhook. My hips are down, my knees are back. Okay, all right, now I'm going to pivot out to the side. I'm going to pivot out this side, and I'm going to use this hand to post his head away. Okay, now he's feeling uncomfortable here. He wants to come up anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna post his head out. Now I'm burying, gonna bury my head right here in this curve between his shoulder and his neck. Okay, this part of my head is gonna go right there. Okay where I'm looking down. This isn't good enough. If I'm looking over his back, I'm not going to be able to do this move. Head has got to be right there where I can look down. Okay, so off the sprawl, under hook, posting his head away, and I'm burying my head. You guys, I'm burying my head right there in the curve between his shoulder and his head and his neck, okay? Posting this head, posting the head away. All right, now I'm safe. Now my knees don't matter so much. He feels real uncomfortable, and he's gonna wanna come up, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring him up. Okay, be careful that you don't take a great big step so he can pick it, okay? Bring him up, keep these legs back, Okay, there I brought him up. Now, important that we cup the shoulder. Cup it. Don't just have your hand out here loose with no pressure. You've got to cup the shoulder and we're, we're pressuring down. Head's buried, pressuring down. I push his head up, push his head away. Okay? Now, as soon as he gets to his feet is the best time to go to this shot. Okay, I don't want him to come up and then kind of back out of this and defend it and get stable. Okay, so he shoots, shoots, defend it. There's my underhook, bury my head, and I'm pushing his head away. He comes up, I'm up. Now I'm going to go right in to this move. Okay, now all the moves that we've done before, we step to the inside. This one, we change our footwork. I am stepping to the outside, but I'm doing the same movement. Okay? Normally it's been like this. Step to the inside. Now I'm stepping to the outside. Okay? So here, he comes up. I'm going to step to the outside. Put my hand in my pocket. Right here. Step to the outside, hand in my pocket. Look how he's falling over my shoulder. Okay? And if he's really pressuring, and most of us have the habit, we have the instinct to sprawl, he's going to sprawl right to the ground on us. He's going to sprawl. There's my pressure, posting his way, head here in the crook of the net. Step, turn, he sprawls, he goes right to the mat. Okay? And I just have to come around. 